Your Excellency Tina Richard, British Ambassador to Cambodia. Your Excellency Pablo Khan, Australian Ambassador to Cambodia. Your Excellency Patrick Murphy, US Ambassador to Cambodia. Mr. Mao Srein, IDP Country Director and Cantessal Convener. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sport, I would like to give a warm welcome to the over 2000 national and international delegates from around the world to the 18th annual Cantessal Conference under the theme of changing approaches and expanding dimensions in global ELT. Today, I am pleased to once again be part of the Cantissol Conference Series event, which we are unable to meet face-to-face -face this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But I am sure that the technology enables us to virtually engage and share best ELT practices with one another as normal. Since it was established 18 years ago, CAMTISO has become an effective professional development platform for Cambodian ELT professionals to engage, build, network, and collaborate with their peers from the region and the globe. I would like to express my sincere appreciation to the collective contributions of all the speakers and delegates who will exchange goal ideas and share their best practices within this conference for the sake of our common goals and for strengthening teaching profession and an improvement of English language education. I would like to reiterate that quality of teaching remains at the top priorities for our ministry for now and in the future. Especially during the COVID-19, teachers in Cambodia and teachers around the world have played very important roles in, pro in providing and sustaining learning for all students. And also teachers are at the heart of education recovery. I would like to pay respect to the teachers who work hard to learn new digital skills in order to provide online learning to students. In some cases, teachers has to travel to the rural village and create small group of learning so that students continue to learn during school closure. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed education forever. This will require the majority of teachers and students to be vaccinated and now we are implementing new normal for education, which include firstly, creating safe school environment. Secondly, implement blended learning. Thirdly, implement a bridge and flexible curriculum. Fourthly, the use of digital contents for teaching and learning. And fifthly, we will continue school reform to make schools accountable to parents and communities, transform school culture, and encourage communities participation in school management and support for safe environment. Moreover, the world after COVID-19 will require new skill sets such as digital skills and new skills to solve the challenges of the 21st century. Education must be transformed to reskill and upskill graduates to get ready for the rapidly uh, changing job market. Therefore, school and universities should implement flexible curriculum linked to career path create an entrepreneurial ecosystem to link education to solve real world problem, promote university business linkages, to develop joint projects and research, update curricula to address the changing nature of the workforce, adopt innovative, flexible micro credential models for technical education. We must promote lifelong learning as education principle by encouraging students to learn how to learn, by observing others, build self-confidence and self-efficacy. We learn to work in team and get motivated, curiosity and grits 
mentors have students to become self-regulated learners. And please to note that Cantiso has played a key role in the area of upskilling of our English language teachers and quality of their teaching practices. The conference is a prestigious professional development opportunity providing support for educators around the world. I congratulate uh, IDP Education for hosting this important conference series. And I reiterate my support and encouragement for CAMTISO to continue helping internationalize the standard of Cambodian teacher of English. I thank the generous individual and institutions for their ongoing sponsorship that so far has been provided access to this conference for thousands of Cambodian teachers from provincial schools and teacher training centers. To conclude, I would like to send my appreciation to all the speakers and delegates for your contribution to build human resources through your esteemed profession, uh, both in ELT and education sector generally. I wish all of you, Excellencies, colleagues, and teacher around the world, good health and stay safe. On this note, Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I take great pleasure in declaring the 18th annual Cantiso Conference officially open. Thank you.